Tillo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. YouTube, you see my little warning behind me. Before it even before we go no further, read. Uh, anyway, uh, if you want to catch a live or repeat one of the previous lives, just go to twitch.com and type in that information at the bottom of the screen. Um, don't forget, we also got Patreon and we got merch. Shout out to the Patreoners, man. We going strong. We about to start two, three new shows again. Tough. Let's get into this, man. This is Police Interceptors. Not sure. This is, I don't know. We, we'll see. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Let's get into it, man. They say this is a new episode. It came out four days ago. This one. So, we'll see. Could be getting lied to. I ain't seen police interceptors in weeks. Feels new. It's HD. Not interceptors protect and serve more than one million people. Keeping the streets safe and locking up the bad guys is a team game. Yeah, I, it looks to be. I mean, it's dark windows, but see, I don't know if it looks. Ah, <laughs> welcome back, Lisa. How you been? Hold on, let me talk to you. You good? A lot of people make it seem like like we not cool or something. Would you tell these people like we cool? It's all fun and game because they really be on your side. And salute to them. But anyway, continue your job as a as a video commentator. You might as well come sit down here with me. <laughs> Looks to anyone else that it's just one driver. One driver. Be unusual if it were two drivers. Uh... <laughs> Lols. <laughs> Lols. Wow. At least she's having a good time. Good fun at work. Lols. <laughs> Lols and Bants get them through the day. But when reports come in of a dangerous threat, the team is all business. You know, so, real quick, something that I realized that we do different in the UK than y'all do in the, than we do in the, dang, I said we do different in the UK, like I was in the UK, that we do different in America, that y'all do different in the UK, we write, men write LOL. Like, apparently men don't write LOL in, in the UK. And y'all read it differently, like y'all read it like lol. We read, we actually be like, oh, laugh out loud. They're laughing. We comprehend it as someone laughing. It's crazy. Reports a uh, anyway. robbery. Ooh. Robbery at a bull with a handgun. With a hand? With a what? A teenager has been robbed in broad daylight at a tram stop by two suspects alleged to have a gun. Jim Campin guns the unmarked Volvo en route to the scene, while Dan Machin reviews the latest intel on the suspected street robbery. Two males have walked up to um, some others and robbed their... Yeah, this is a double episode on here. That's why you see it's a, an hour and 38 minutes. We will only be watching one of them, buddy. Chain uh, from around the neck and some earpods, uh, headphones. And the strap is uh, two black males with braided hair, one in a blue... Uh, coats, one in a black coat, and they've had a black handgun tucked in their waistband. Somebody got their chain snatched in London? Where was the, the suspects this? are allegedly armed and dangerous, but the interceptors have the numbers. So we're just getting armed at the minute. And the tools, kitting up. In the UK, if you rob somebody broad daylight with a firearm, you're not really trying to get away. You want to go with the man them in jail. You're not trying to be free. Bait face too, did they say? You're done. With Heckler and Koch carbines. The gun is just going to be the black. Heck Hecklers and carbines. Firearms, right. Cox, Bruce Arnold and Lisa DeSantis. He's 
Captain. Our firearms cop, Bruce Arnold's and... Hey, Lisa. You co hey, you look attractive with that gun on you. <laughs> Lisa DeSantis. There's potentially two males still in oh, the man. area. So obviously we're all deploying to that area oh, now. Identification is confirmed. The subject will be an overt challenge from cover. Okay, tattoo in the air. I see. Shot two two received. Also en route. Uh, Delta two three from zoom two. Fellow firearms cop Paul Charlesworth has his foot down, while Sergeant Lenny Bennett calls the shots alongside him. You bolt onto the back of the two two car, please. They'll be your dog prop. Obviously, give us a fight and flight. Uh, option. Go ahead, two eight. It's a full team turnout. In total, this is definitely a brand new episode. Like the cinema, the cinematography different and everything. Well, Fifteen officers are travelling to hunt down the allegedly armed tram stop robbers. They said they were on the side of the bridge. First to the area are Dan and Jim. I know where it is, mate. Dan's been working with Jim for the last four years. He never forgets a face or a route and knows these streets like a six foot sat nav. Oh, it's not here. Keep going to the parallel, isn't it? Was that fit into it? Ah, yeah. Incognito in the unmarked Volvo, the lads are perfectly placed to scope the neighborhood. I'm going to nip down. Not at that speed. You know, the one that comes through with the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And at that bridge, things get interesting. Hello? Hello? Are they just, are they? They yeah, right so there? So. Could be them, yeah. These are the dumbest, this is what, I be, this is what I'm saying. You're not trying to not be caught. you trying to, you want to go to jail. This, your goal today was let's go to jail. Two lads on the steps match the description. It's a footbridge that goes over the train line and it's the Deptford Crescent end. They are sat on the steps um, only in t-shirts but they have their duffel coats and they're hung on the railings. The suspects could have a gun so the boys want to keep OBS on them from a distance until armed backup arrives. It's just that on foot, somewhere. To OFC, we're unarmed, taser only. Just make sure we've got one the other side of the train track. Dan tries to get a line of sight. Oh, so Bomb five to uh, can't see if they're still sat on these steps. Uh, the view is covered by a Nottingham City Homes van. While Jim spins the unmarked around. 3590, I've got a clear unobstructed view down to where they were, the bottom of the steps now. They're not there. The suspects have vanished. Believe. Of course, bro. They were clocking y'all. They seen y'all doing, making U-turns. They'll have gone back up over the train bridge now. Jim reckons they've done a runner over the bridge to the other side of the railway line, where armed cops are closing in fast. Paul and Lenny are hot on the tram stop robbers tracks. I think we're there now. Tram stop run side bridge. What is it? They've reached the other side of the footbridge. They have now toolery, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's to ah! And spot two lads jogging into a garage. Two runners. Haven't seen him. Y'all might as well get yourself up. You're done. It's over with. What was he doing, huh? Ooh. Following a tram stop robbery in Bullwell, a team of interceptors are on the hunt for two you suspects alleged to have a gun. So we're just getting armed at the minute. The gun is described as being a black hang gun. Jim and Dan found a pair that fit the description. To OFC, we're unarmed, taser only. They are sat on the steps. Who fled over a railway footbridge. I think we're there now. Yeah. Inside the bridge. They definitely the of the tracks. Ain't no way that they didn't toss the weapon. Me and Paul have spotted the reportedly armed and dangerous duo. Right, 
right. or the third person that was with them took it because it was three people when they pulled up on the red one somebody was standing and two people were sitting He's to go to it. Ah! the suspects have legged it did something in a garage and walked out to face the music lenny and paul have challenged the potentially armed robbers to get on the ground it's a tense moment he thought about it one of the lads who could have a gun lunges towards them yeah man it ain't the time it's not the time the jumpy suspect has got something in his hands unsure if it's a weapon lenny kicks the item away the suspected armed robber refuses to comply now the cops think he's reaching for something in his waistband as he moves to get to his feet Lenny's forced to take him down. W cops, man. It's not many times that I say this to, to stay this type of stuff, but W cops. Because in America, you wouldn't it wouldn't all of that extra stuff he was doing, it, yeah. He wouldn't have made it out this scenario, but he would not have made it out. And Paul slaps the cuffs on him. Yeah. By the time the cavalry rolls in. That's one we saw, Mike. Both runners are in. They show it now. It's braver not to shoot somebody. As a cop, it's braver not to shoot somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because you really got to take that chance. Like, man, they. I don't think I don't really want to. Let me just be brave and hold on for a second. Cuffs and really see what's oh, going on. And nicked on suspicion of robbery. Got cannabis on him as well. Do you want to further feet three five for that? Uh, I'll see further than the rest. Possession of cannabis. All right. Still in the portion for that. Portion. Yeah. As to the sirens have come over the bridge where you've seen them and they've yeah. run down and around here and they've been trying to run into that corner as we've come around the corner. Nice. Um, you've got up and fought with us though. You basically said. Give me your stuff. I've got a burner. Put his hand on his waistband. I'm not seeing anything. Not produced anything. Yeah, Just and these are the two the other side. So. Oh, but then, mate, he's got the yeah. AirPods in his pocket. It looks like the robber's been caught red handed. Some AirPods that got stolen. That's why one of the lads has had in his pocket and he's got a burner. Bro, some dirty AirPods. Cannabis as well. But there's no sign of a gun on either suspect. Both of whom, it turns out, are just 17 years old. They big board games and threaten them with guns. You will get put on the floor by armed police, right? Let this be a lesson to you today. Take something from it. The lads are led away from the big boy games, leaving the team to check CCTV. He's look, he wants to run even then. Weapons pointed at him. He's on his phone texting. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievably, the teenage suspect was playing with his mobile phone. That's just crazy. Don't care. Bro was trying to do a Snapchat mid <laughs> mid armed police force arrest. Boy, don't let don't don't let clout get you up. get you peeled out here. Peeled. Got you to get some together. I thought you were going through your white stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just shocked at like seventeen year old with cop with uh, police pointing guns at him, but they they're just not doing as they're told. Don't seem fussed. Interceptors have combed the area and there's no sign of a discarded gun. Mage, you got a big property bag. He got a crazy, crazy thought process to him. And when I say thought process, Mage. I mean, that's wild. It's like, you got a big right. property bag. Yeah, I've got one. But one of the teenagers did have something just as deadly. We've had a look at CCTV in the garage. And he Somebody in the comments said, I have a crazy head. Nah, not like shaped like that. Shows them discarding a knife. And um, that's what sergeants recovered, that they've discarded. It's your bog standard kitchen knife. However, that can kill someone. Their intentions Definitely. were quite real when they've gone out today. Um, and I'm glad we've got it off the streets and, you know, people like that off the streets. It's been a success. Lisa, when did you get a nose ring? It's 
successful day at the office for Lenny and his team. Real good bit of work by Dan and Jim. They've had the, the foresight to think where they may have gone, picked them up and passed the information to the team. So happy days and uh, justice for a victim who's been you know, going about his business this morning and robbed. The two offenders, the young, the young kids, and you know, you play with feathers, you'll get tickled because he's big boys. Bro, what? You couldn't have picked a better. You couldn't have said play stupid game, win stupid prizes. You play with feathers and you'll get tickled. Like, hey, come on, bro, chill. All that space up there, and you chose that one. You really wild in the day. So if you start threatening innocent people with guns, you're gonna come and meet us. One of the teenagers was convicted of the tram stop robbery, as well as possession of a knife and cannabis. He was given an 11-month referral order, had to pay £200 compensation, and the knife was destroyed. Referral? What's a referral order? ...was taken against the second suspect. Tracking runaway bad guys isn't easy, so some interceptors pack four-legged firepower. Relax. Who's this? Reporting for duty tonight are dog handler Coops and his canine crime fighter Rambo. We never met Coops, I don't think, right? Just starting out on our 12-hour night shift tonight, um, or a bit of old-fashioned policing, really. Get up into the right areas and see what comes of it. Coops joined the force straight from school and became a grade A cop. His proudest moment was joining the dog unit and teaming up with Rambo, a three-year-old Belgian Malinois. So he got no other experience but, but, but police in school. Whose finest skill is sniffing out suspects. And there's a whiff of action in the air. A hot hatch is forecast to blow in from the north. One of our units has seen or spooked a couple of cars in convoy. They've been racing one another uh, and they've just done a vanishing act. So we've got basic details looking for a fiesta. Um, we're in the area, so fingers crossed there it is. And just like that. Coop spots a fiesta that fits the bill. Ran right into him. Might as well pull over. From Delta 1 2, it's Belgrave Road. If this is the boy racer, then he's not doing much racing now. But Coop still wants a word. You get the reg down. A flash of the blues. We're looking for white A1. So far, so good. But the passenger seems keen to stretch his legs. Wait, 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 please for the dog, please for the dog, please for the dog. Stay there now, please for the dog. Stay where you are. One's on the run, but the car's full. Decision time, Coops. You might as well stay with the car, man. Cause you, cause you need to keep track of the person and the dog. So if you leave, the car gonna get away. Get out of the car, do it now. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Do it now! Get on the floor now! Get on the floor! Do it now! Do it now! Get on the floor! Hands behind your back! With backup on scene and four secure, that just leaves the runner. It's man versus Rambo. Come on, Place your bets, folks. My money's on the dog. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm giving it up for the dog. That dog got him. And that's a German Shepherd. That ain't one of them little golden retrievers or... Or poodle dogs that they other the other ones be having. We got good bite right now. Where is he? Find him. Where is he? Find him. Where is he? Get on, find him. Where is he? Where is he? Find him. If hide and seek was an Olympic sport, where is he? Find him. Rambo would have more medals than Usain Bolt. He follows his nose to an alley behind back gardens. He's caught a scent, but there's no sign of the runaway. He's definitely high. Delta 1 2 has gone on to Catherine Close and possibly out onto the grass area. But Rambo's not giving up yet and clearly wants to earn another medal. He seems struck by this garden. Perhaps it's the new garden feature. Stay there now. Please for the dog. Please for the dog. Please for the dog. Get on the floor now. Do it now. 
Get on the floor. Sweat face down on the floor. Do it now. Do it now. Rambo one, runner nil. Listen to me, my friend. Gonna come to the I always thought that was amazing. These dogs be having 7,000 times more smelling strength than a, than, a, than a human. That's crazy. Hey, Hog. Just stay, don't make any sort of movements, pal. Delta one, I've got the male detained. Scared. Yeah, all right, mate. Very in time, you detained. I don't know what's happened to that big. All right, so you just. Hello? Police officer, just stay inside for me, please, sir. Stay inside, thank you. With Rambo breathing down his neck, this lad's not likely to chance legging it again. You have to look at me, but listen very carefully, my friend, okay? Other officers are going to come. Yeah. Hello, come down the back alleyway. Other officers are going to come and detain you. I'll get the dog away, yeah? Hands going to your back. Nearly your back. Good lad. Nearly your back. Jim Campin's on hand to cuff the shell shock suspect. Can get the dog away, gents, all right? All right. Don't see signs of the search, mate. <laughs> Good lad. Good lad. Clever lad. That dog was trying to eat something. That's tough. Clever boy. Good lad. Not half as tight as Rambo's grip would have been. Back at the Fiesta, Coops is checking in with the rest of the crew. That was a you shouldn't even have ran. Like, what was the? Why'd you run? Get bitten. Why did you nearly get bit? Did the dog get you? Yeah. Did bite him? <laughs> yeah, I'll do. I need to know when it's going to be on TV. You, you know, I'll see though. I, I can't see if it's going to be on TV or not, but. The, the driver's facial reactions when the dog was here, it may, it may make him famous. <laughs> <laughs> like a magic wardrobe, this. A little fiesta look, three door, three other likely suspects on the back seat, uh, and driver over there, and the full house when he comes back. And for the magic wardrobe's next trick, ta-da, class B. Spencer's discovered a bit of cannabis squirrelled away in the glove box. The lad that's been uh, tracked by the uh, the dog officer uh, and caught, he's admitted to it being his his his, uh, his cannabis just for personal use. Um, he's just going to be dealt with at a low level for a, yeah, a cannabis that's... warning for that matter. Um, and obviously they've been advised about legging it from us for, for the sake of a I don't know a tenner's worth of cannabis. He's nearly had his arm bitten, and for a lad who's He's, he's not known as a bad lad. Yeah, yeah he definitely shouldn't have ran. <laughs> you just dealt with the consequences right there. They probably would have let you go right at the roadside. Uh, and I think he's been compliant with the other officers. Yeah, it was a very silly move. As the runner's never been in trouble before, he's given a cannabis warning, which means he won't get a criminal record this time, but he could face a caution if he's caught with cannabis again. NG6 gang. <laughs> gang shit. Bow, bow. NG6 His mates are in the clear and free to go. NG6? Yeah, man. Nah. Behave yourselves, all right. The police don't even take y'all serious. That's There's a crazy. Cop there. There's a dog, and you've got a split decision to decide. Have we got enough ears? It's a stolen car. Just the weapons inside. Drugs. Um, but I just didn't feel it was right at that moment in time to basically send the dog and get him bitten. It turns out, for me, that was the right decision. These aren't career criminals in this car. But they're... Nice lads, they might be bordering either way, which way to fall of the line. <laughs> the police called y'all outstanding citizens. You guys are good guys. You got character. You're probably in school getting straight A's, preparing for your GSEs, or, 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 or you, you maybe even, you know, thinking about university. You know what I'm saying? Just chill out. Um, that passenger hopefully won't do that again. Runaway drivers are often prepared to break every rule of the road. True. It is failing to start. Speed is 7 0. Mate, he's gone wrong side. It's a dead end. Oh, I remember this episode. Get stuck, surely. I Once remember that. Up one. against the interceptor's elite tactics. Box on, box on. Stop, stop, stop. I'm Zulu 2, um, we're just trying to set up a stinger site. Teamwork. We're offside junction, through the junction, I'll try and give you a heads up. And timing. Some suspects can be left. Bro, that is insane that they really throwing spike strip down on a bike. 
feeling a little deflated. Calm down, calm down. Oh, what have you done that for? I've stung your bike. Why? Why, though? Proper plumb. Yeah? Both of you. What's the offence? They'd have to pay for my new tire. If I didn't do nothing and you put a stinger out and I ran over it on my bike, you gotta pay me. I don't believe in... Nah, come on, man. Half an hour ago, across the border in Lincolnshire, cops tried to stop a car with markers for failing to stop for the police. From uh, 2-8, we're going to try and get up to um, Lockwell Hill. The driver took off, and now he's crossed onto the interceptor's patch. Where advanced driver Bruce and teammate Chalky are racing to intercept. Mansfield. We're just coming up Southwell Road now. We're just coming up Southwell Road now. Uh, it might be a bit tight. Yeah, but it's the vehicle that's uh, failed to stop the Lincolnshire officers. Mobile's managed to get behind it as it's come into knots, but they're not uh, pursuit or back train, so they've not attempted to make any stop of the vehicle. A preemptive stop has been authorised. In other words, box in the bad guy before he makes another run for it. From 2-2, two -two, and we're coming up towards Renneth around about shortly. A second unit has its eyes on the target car. It's down to Bruce, Chalky and a... I, I feel like pursuit trained. I feel like you, that should be a part of graduating training. Like, everybody should get that off bat. Like... Dinger to take out its tires. It's such a possibility in the UK. Everywhere. You for miles, can't you? Out here. Chalky's chalked up 26 years in uniform, and the seasoned interceptor is a dab hand with the old spikes. But timing is everything. They need to be ahead of the suspect motor. Just uh, location, we're just approaching uh, Lockwell Hill. We are approaching the Limes Cafe. The car's coming this way. They need a safe spot out of sight. We're going to go down towards the... Get uh, here. On the bend, or in the dark round here. Let's go up here. We're just uh, passing the road junction there, uh, or the crossroads. Uh, we're being creeped to our near side. Yeah. Yeah. It's dark as hell. Like, what is it? We're setting a stinger sight up just off Lockwell Hill roundabout, A614. The stinger is a strip of metal spikes which are thrown across the road to puncture a car's tyres. Yeah, we're set up. Just give us a shout when it comes off it. We're about 200 metres uh, from the RA now. We've got... Bro, imagine, bro, getting a fresh pair of tyres and they sting you. And you, you, you're you innocent. You didn't do anything. Like, I, oh, my God. I'd be in court. You got to, like, I need payment. He's approaching a three-exit roundabout. Stand by. 50 metres. They bet on exit two. We're on the RA now. Not one, not one. Which will he take? From 2-2, two two, we're just joined the bottom of uh, the six Oh my god, yeah. another Motor. recap. Roundabout on Thank you. the stinger. <laughs> yeah, we're set up. Just give us a shout when it comes off it. The target's incoming. Stand by. 50 metres. Well, will the driver take the exit with a sting? We're on the RA now. Not one, not one. We are educating and we're taking second. A614 towards Nottingham. That ain't be guessing Here he so comes. Good. Stay sharp, Chalky. Gotcha. Vehicle stung, vehicle stung. Go ahead and slow it down, right, buddy. Go. That's the way to do it. Stop, stop, stop. No contact. Both front tyres are busted, and so is the driver. Okay. Let's turn and face this car for us. Let's take it down to the Chinese. Yeah, limp it down, yeah. Just keep it to 20. With traffic building, the interceptors clear the road and just about manage to park up. Bro, then you drive on my flat tires, possibly ruining the rim. 
nearby to search the car. It was a sharp takedown and Chalky's chuffed. And then why did you even use this thing in the first place? Because there was non teep there was non pursuit officers, pursuit trained officers. So how is that my tires fault? With his handiwork. It's worked ideal. I've managed to get both front tires on a on a front wheel drive, so it is it's perfect. The idea of the spikes is, is I want them to blue light them. They wasn't chasing them, they was just behind them. They embed into the tires. Um, and then they allow for the control. Now, oh, oh they, they were, they, were they giving pursuit? Because they said they were non-pursuit trained, so they wasn't chasing them. ...of the tyres, so it brings the vehicle down to a slow stop. He's literally come to a halt within 50 metres of where I've stung him. Oh, so they did actually try to stop him, okay. Alright, then true. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> a search of the car doesn't turn up anything illegal, and checks on the driver are clear too. So the fail to stop is a bit okay, of a mystery. Okay, you didn't fail to stop. Okay. It was interceptor Richard who picked up the car when it came into the county. I think the driver is was a little bit confusing with what was happening, and has, has not stopped when uh, the, uh, the police have uh, eliminated the blue lights and sirens, resulting in this uh, incident uh, in Nottinghamshire. If those blue lights and sirens start to eliminate and, uh, and the vehicles are there behind you, you need to you need to consider stopping for them. The driver said he didn't realise that officers in Lincolnshire wanted him to stop. <laughs> no further action was taken by Lincolnshire police. That worked. Oh, I didn't know they wanted me to stop. I didn't know what them sirens and, 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 and heavy pursuit was. Whenever they roll out, interceptors know to expect the unexpected. Very often it's just small things. You'll have a car with a light out or might look like it's going a little bit quickly. You'll pull it over with, with no more intention really than just seeing what the driver's about, having a word with them about the condition of their car. Uh, and then things will just develop. The, the driver will start behaving strangely. You'll find things in the car. You really never know where it's going to go. Ah, this is a random question, okay? Y'all got dealerships out there, obviously, car dealerships. Have y'all ever peeped the women that work in the car dealerships? Are they all, like, abnormally good-looking? In Miami, all the women that work in the car shop, all the women that work in the car, like, I don't know what jobs they do in there. I'm not sure if they sell the cars. If they, I don't know. But it, it, same with Chicago. They all look like eight or better I'm like dang is that the same case in the U I'm just curious I don't know why I asked it during this video but it's like just crossing my mind a little bit things I heard high heels that's what it, I don't it's your own boom it's a balmy summer evening in the city and Dan and Jim are making important enough. oh a state agent so it's a state agent for y'all okay wireys have you got tea today? Mm, I have bought, I bought a bag of sweet like cabbage or something. What? A bag of salads and a box of cooked chicken. So Lame. I think I'm going to go dirty. What have you got? Sandwiches. Come on. Nope. Friday night? Nope. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Oh. Done. KP60. It's the Skoda. Stand down the salad and step on it. That's Skoda southbound and we're Gregory Boulevard towards. Anyone free? On the menu instead is a blue Skoda. Scene screen. Anyone free? On the menu instead is a You better calm down, buddy. You didn't want to stop. You almost got took down. Blue Skoda. Seen screaming around Snenton earlier today. I think you're gonna have to go. Now, the motor has been spotted nearby. Just bear us in mind, we're, uh, we're probably going to pick this up. We'll push out to up. Sure enough. It's there, look. Parked up. There the it is. The suspect oh, Skoda sails by in the opposite direction. Hi, 
quick Yui. He's not gone for it and our lights are illuminated. Let's just get it straight in, mate. And the boys light it up. No, it's a stop, stop outside Ginogly. This is going well. Hey boys, how you doing? Good, right. You okay? Yeah, I am, yeah. Good. What's your name, please? Turn your car off, mate. Yeah. We've had some information past two that he's been thrashing it up and down past from PCO in Snenton this afternoon. Yeah. That's the reason I've come to talk yeah. to you, mate. There are three lads in the car and something iffy in the back seat footwell. Who's is all that? What? All that on the floor there. What you on about? You on about? Well, the cannabis on the floor. Hand over between your legs as well. Oh yeah, there's a big lump there by your feet as well. That's idiotic. Like if you ride with all that in the car, why are you going speeding and making all this noise? You should be incognito. There's a fair bit of cannabis in here. Just could do with another unit, please. Right, boys. Yeah. So we can see all the cannabis. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get you out. We'll get another unit here. We'll see how much there is, yeah. and then we'll go from there. All right. First it's either. It's either. Just call this officer in. It's Eid. Hello. With the three lads out of the way, Jim can take a look inside the Skoda. Sorry, can you just cuff them up? Because it's quite... After 21 years on the front line, Jim's favourite gadget is still a trusty torch. I swear, people that have never been in trouble with the police or... or... Like they'd be moving wild. Like, bro, I've never. Don't get me in your car if I got. If I got. Hypothetically speaking, let's paint the picture. If I got any illegal. Any illegal items on me, or if I got like a warrant out for my arrest, don't. I'm not gonna be out here driving stupidly. And if I'm in your car, please don't drive stupidly. Let's let's, let's follow all the rules of the world road. And at this moment, let's be law-abiding citizens. <laughs> but there's not you much call for it today. This lot oh is... Oh, my God. He's talking about personal use. It's hard to miss. So, one, two, three, four, five, five good bags of nice ounces. dried cannabis. <laughs> Ready to go. That one's got a hole in it, so we'll be careful with that. And three boys, and it's going to be very difficult for us to, to say who was in possession of it, but because all three boys are in the car, I think there's a quantity of cash. Some phones that we describe as burner phones as well that people dealing drugs will often use and they can discard quite readily. So we'll take them to the bride well and they'll be interviewed and see if they can explain what they're going to do. Well, they're outside group trapping. This. One the is good enough, one or two. Looking good. Oh, it's raining too? Yeah, I think we're in a bit of a thunderstorm. On the weather front or the drugs front? I don't think it's fair to say that's personal use. It's raining cats and drugs. <laughs> dropping it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're dropping it everywhere, mate. Geese. You act like you're gonna get it back, boy. He told me you're dropping it everywhere, mate. It's gone. It's not yours anymore. Thanks. So you're not trying to take some movie, it's not my cup of tea, mate. Then no. I'm just going to get that in an evidence bag, mate. Will the lads weather the storm of Jim's next question? So whose is that? Good. And I want to take ownership of it. No? Uh -oh. Anyone? The tight-lipped trio... No, you're not going to melt in the rain, don't worry. ...are off to a nice dry nick. Going to rest for possession of cannabis with a tent supply, OK? Uh, no charges are going to be brought against them. That's my guess. Either that or all three will equally be charged. Well, it's not going to be any other way, is it? you got a load of cannabis in the car. You're in the car. You know it's there. Right, we'll see you down there. An interceptor's work is never rained off. I've got jelly in my eyes. And Dan and Jim pour over every inch of the Skoda. Uh, There's another phone here, so albeit not a burner. The, uh, often they'll um, stop and just try the look, uh, try and be quite coy and talk the way out of it. As soon as we got to the car, you could smell it, and it's, as you can see, there's packages all over, quite a substantial amount of cannabis. So um, 
yeah, it's uh, not the best time to try the look. Right, mate. Yeah, Leslie, let's park it up, Leslie Road. Yeah. Do you want to... Well, you're going to go to the houses. I'll do that, mate. I'll meet you on there. With the suspect Skoda sorted, the interceptors head down to custody. Yo. What a time for the heavens to open. Oh, my God. Absolutely to the bone. The three lines are drying off at Hotel Bridewell. That boy mixing Montclair with Calvin Klein. He really out here stepping, ain't he? <laughs> three lines are drying off. It match, I guess. But when you were a designer, I don't know, you got to be designer on designer. Calvin Klein is not designer. Off at Hotel Bridewell. There you go. There you go. Cash. Four. Jim and Dan drop the seized drugs and cash at the evidence store. Narbis. It's a rough fit. The three boys will be put to sleep for the night, le left to rest. Fed, watered, and then interviewed in the morning. Fed, watered. We were quite surprised. We thought they'd um, put the foot down and go. And um, as soon as we stepped out of the car, it, um, it tipped it down. But um, you know, we're, we are all weather interceptors. We um, any weather um, doesn't phase us. For possession of cannabis, the driver. All right, guys, don't get corny now. You did good. You got your little arrest. Now you're talking about we all weather interceptors. It actually kind of sound hard when I'm when I say it. We all weather interceptors, but when you said it, swing and a miss, buddy. Hmm. Admitted the offence and was fined 140. For possession of cannabis, the driver admitted the offence and was fined 146 pounds. One passenger awaits his day in court, while the other received no further action. Oh, okay. Back out on duty for the 7 till 7 shift is Jim and his partner for the night, Ben. Covering all 834 square miles of Nottinghamshire, they've always got their eyes peeled. Jimmy, looking for this That is our runner. Hey, up. Right, it's a Nissan. Hey, up. And a Kia. How long did I do that for? And you answer with every mate. I was going to do it. I stopped. I was going to do it. See which one was given up first. Let me as darkness falls. Is there any Jubilee units that can uh, assist with this? It's a robbery and a very aggressive group of individuals. There's a report of a group of teenagers on the rampage in the market town of Arnold. Oh! They stole the security card. This might be negativity. Stolen weeks, I believe. There's the previous that they had knives a couple of weeks ago. Who's the main offender in the description, please? The description is, I see one male, black scarf around his face, grey joggers, black coat. I see one male. As they reach the last known location, the boys spot a group of lads at the end of the street. They've just been stopped by another unit. Jim jumps out to investigate. You're a footballer? I'm a footballer. So why are we stopping you then? How old are you? 15. 15. Whilst Jim chats to a teenage footballer... What are we doing knocking around here, then? Commit yourself to it, mate. A lad in grey trackies... Leg ...tries dip. his look as a sprinter. <laughs> I would think we finally found somebody worse than Lisa. She had the opportunity to work hard, and she said... A lad in grey trackies... ...tries his look as a... No, thank you. <laughs> she said, I'm too cute for this. Sprinter. <laughs> No, nah, she's wigging out right now. She just she just basically got fired. We just watched you in 4K. I'm reporting you for not working hard. Eagle Eye Ben doesn't miss a trick. And boots it. Spotting the runner jumping a garden That's fence. That's funny. Ben rallies the team. Yeah, I'll try and get myself onto that bend on Hill Road then. Calvin Klein is not designers. Cut it out. We're not doing that. We're not. We're not doing that. Calvin Klein. Nobody even. I can only speak for America because America, because I'm in America. Nobody wears Calvin Klein anymore. Unless it's like at a runway fashion. So maybe they draws or something. Like I ain't never seen somebody like in a Calvin Klein fit. Like dang, you, hey, he put that on. 
Oh, she put that. Maybe the females be wearing it. But I, I just. Spectres in here. With reports a security guard has been assaulted, the interceptors can't take any chances. Yeah, where would you want? But they've got a block of houses surrounded. In one of the gardens. Can you see a vehicle? Ben notices a security light flashing on the other side of the fence. Mm. It's over, buddy. Get here! You get here now! Do the move! Do the move! <laughs> Where are you, Benny boy? Stop resisting! Give me your hands! Give me your hands now! Stop talking! Give me your hands! Ben's you trying to arrest him from over the fence? Followed the runner. Where are you, Ben? All right. Who is hiding behind a garage? Roll over. So, sit. Oh, okay. All right, you're gonna get you up, yeah? Mm. Up you get. One minute. All right, Bro is a child. He will be out tonight. Wait a second. Jim doesn't find any stolen items, and the suspect isn't armed. But they do make a discovery in his bag. Some lollipops that have got cannabis leaf on them. One, two, three, four, four deal bags. Scales. Oh, mate. And then them. Yeah. What, in deal bags? Is that what you're selling? Paracetamol. Also, in the suspected robber's oh, bag. What are these? Homework. <laughs> He's only just. Oh, boy. Trapping his way through. through what's the grade is he probably in? High school. It's very typical of the young boys in this it's area at the funny, minute. They get mixed up with the wrong crowds. Yeah. Obviously, there's a little bit of pressure from the elders the, in their groups, uh, and they get forced to do things. And I think that's what's taking place tonight. Everything on him is basically pointing the finger that he's doing some drug dealing in the area. So, unfortunately, we've got a 16-year-old boy who's locked up for drug dealing at the minute. It's a sad state of affairs for me. Due to the lack of evidence, no charges were brought in relation to dealing and no further action was taken in regards to the assault. Told you. Yeah, he's definitely wasn't going to be in there. <laughs> they're going to look the other way. If there's not enough, they're not even going to force it. <laughs> Still to come. <laughs> Driving without insurance is against the law. But across the UK, police officers catch over one without insurance is against the law. But across the UK, police officers catch over 100,000 uninsured drivers a year. We're taking that risk. It is hard to get away with it, but you'll always have your chances. Just they can't necessarily afford it, or they're just the type of people that don't think they have to pay for it. We do get the odd people who, due to bad admin, they'll have forgotten to insure the, their cars. And they'll never do it again, and they'll learn a lesson. Driving with no insurance must be well stressful. Every police car you. I remember it used to be easy to drive with no insurance, or easy to like not get caught. Now it's like they gonna call the insurance company up right then and there to make sure they go. They got ways to figure out. So if you think, lying. Whoa, you know, have to do the old. Or if you falsify the document. Yeah. Don't look now. Yeah. In Nottingham, it's not held, mate, on a Peugeot 207 in grey. Lee and Dom are on the hunt for a suspected uninsured car travelling through the city. Uh, it's westbound. As on the map. That's it. So it's going to be up here. This this is Queen's Road, isn't it? Yeah. It's all systems go. Hopefully it'll be in this lot here. Lights, sirens, and two sets of eagle eyes. Can't see nothing. There you go. I thought the police would have had better windshield wipers than this. It's the one. Dom signals to pull over. But the uninsured driver isn't taking any notice. He's not going to stop, mate. You think? Del Boy's either playing it cool. Del boy. Hey, just cops trot three one. 
I'm still not wholly convinced. Or he's completely oblivious. Dom wraps up the light show. Yeah, behind the vehicle, uh, Queen's Drive. Um, I'm not sure if it's failing to stop or not. Mate, it is, isn't it? It's not stopping. The interceptors are in hot pursuit. Uh, it's 25 miles an hour. Well, maybe lukewarm. They ain't even lukewarm, my boy. <laughs> what would we call this? This is like cold pursuit. They ain't even. But still, the pug driver poodles on. Single occupant approaching uh, Red ATS at Crossgate Drive Junction. They're already hard to miss, but. Honest, what happened to Lisa? She got one little segment today? Lisa is the most comical part of this show. Love it. Dom makes them harder still. I wonder if Lisa got an IG. We should like try to locate Lisa's IG. Mate, hey, switch off. Switch your engine off now. Yeah. You don't see us behind you. Yeah. But I didn't so why have you not pulled over while we're continually behind you? Put your handbrake on. You're rolling back. Sorry. Because I thought there was plenty of space for you to overtake. We're not trying to overtake, we're pulling you over. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah? <laughs> hey, bro, is high. He talking about there's plenty of place to overtake. No, they're directly behind you. Pull over. I didn't see, if we, I didn't see an indicator going, sorry. If we sat behind you, if we wanted to get by, we'd have gone by. We're actually pulling you over. Okay, so you pull over and stop. That's okay. hilarious. The reason we're stopping you is because the car's shown us no insurance. Oh, right. So, have you got any insurance for the vehicle? I should have. You should have. I mean, the only thing I can okay. think is it's just not been renewed. Mr. Oblivious claims he pays for his insurance monthly. Right. Are you able to check that? Just need something to say that it is, you know, you, that you're paying for your insurance. I'd pay it right there on the spot, buddy. Um, because ultimately, if you can't prove it, then the car will be seized and you'll be reported for driving no insurance. Like I said, it's, it's probably an oversight on my... Okay. I'll, I'll put my hand up. Yeah. It was a, it's a gentleman that's there. Okay. Um, it's not something I intend. It's just like not pulling over was a genuine mistake. No, 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 absolutely. I'm not, I'm not saying that it is. Uh, the problem we know with, with an insurance offence is what we call an absolute offence. So you either have it or you don't. And if you're driving a vehicle on the road without it, then you commit the offence. Do you think it probably hasn't renewed then? Do you think that's probably the case? It's not. Can you jump out for me so I can just get out of the road if that's right? This could be an expensive oversight. No. Driving without insurance could cost him a £300 fine, six points on his licence, or even prosecution at court. Man, speaking about like. Oh my god, I'll turn off, off of this video. Let me just try and track it then and see when it's dropped off. Right, so your insurance ran 28th of August 2019. To the 3rd of August 2020, and then it's not renewed for some reason. Oh, right. Um, I didn't realise that. It's a bit strange if you're on an auto renew, though. The driver's insurance policy expired two months ago. I'm just wondering whether if it auto renewed, it didn't reset the monthly uh, payments and it's tried to take the whole amount. Uh, and there wasn't, I don't know if you've had insufficient funds or anything. Uh, hey, whatever he's saying, sir, agree with it, so you might be able to get out of this. Um, <laughs> There wouldn't be enough in there to the whole year. If it came out for the whole year. No. That's all I can think it might be. All right. Um, we're going to have to issue you with some paperwork. Um, and obviously, we can't allow the car to continue its journey, I'm afraid. Um, Get insurance right sure. now. Okay, I mean, I can phone them and see if... I yeah, I mean, by all means, give them a ring. See if you can. And if it is, I cannot... You know, if it turns out it's an admin error, then we can rip the paperwork up and uh, go call them. So if you want to jump in and okay. give them a call, absolutely... No problem. Okay. All right. Oh, mate, it's a bit... This is a good... Hey, low-key, for them to have gone on a little slope-speed chase and have to pull them over in that manner, the officer is still pretty chill. Bit of a strange one. Well, it's not a strange one. He's got, he's got proof in his bank that it's going out, but not now. It should be an auto-renew, but he said nothing's gone oh, out. Oh, God, I'll call him and be like, yeah, hey, hey. Take this payment right now for one month. Let me get up out of here. Since powers to stop and seize uninsured vehicles were introduced, 
UK police forces have taken over 2 million uninsured motors off the road. Try hard. Lee might be adding to that tally. Any joy? No, they're only open 8 till 8. We have to report you for no insurance, OK. Uh, yeah, I understand. I just have to tell you the official bit, so it's, you, you will be reported for consideration of the question of prosecuting you for the relevant offence shown above on here, which is driving a motor vehicle with no insurance. All right. Uh, you didn't have to say anything. Bro, you could have went online and just grabbed any insurance. It may help me defend. The Peugeot will be seized, leaving the uninsured driver with a wet walk home. Take this now, take it to our compound, they'll collect it from okay. there. OK, cheers, thanks. For driving without a paint. Dang, what happened? And the interceptors are back next Monday. Alright, no, no, no updates or anything of that nature? TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's, let's, let's continue our campaign. Lisa. Hang on.